NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has hardly opened its eyes, and the universe is new. More mysterious, more beautiful than humanity's dreams. Biden has introduced the first image to be shown publicly from the James Webb Telescope. Since telescopes can gather more light than the human eye can see, they have improved our ability to see the stars. Numerous equipment have been developed throughout the years to further our understanding of space, but none have achieved the kind of advancements that the James Webb Telescope has. It has been demonstrated that this telescope can travel back in time to the universe's beginning. Everything changes now that we have the official clearest photograph of the City of Lights ever seen. 18 different images, one per each mirror, are what we anticipate. Come discuss this astounding new finding from the James Webb Telescope and its potential implications for the future. This is no typical telescope, this masterpiece of human invention. It is the biggest and most potent space telescope ever constructed, and its goal is to transform our knowledge of the universe. Scientists are able to travel back in time to a moment when the cosmos was just 200 million years old, thanks to the state-of-the-art equipment of the JWST. We shall be able to turn back time in the universe with the help of this invention's information. In addition, the telescope can take pictures of some of the oldest galaxies that ever existed, displaying the first stars in the universe gleaming in the pitch-black cosmos. NASA declared that the James Webb Space Telescope would study four primary topics when it launched. The first light in the universe, the formation of galaxies in the early universe, the emergence of stars and protoplanetary systems and planets, including the origins of life. These goals have been difficult to achieve because of the difficulties in getting clear views of space, yet being essential for the study of space. As a result, it has been crucial to figure out how to collect as much information as possible and then use the best brains to evaluate the data. Critical science and calibration tests were conducted on the telescope prior to it, starting its astronomical observations. The Sun Shield, a sizable five-layered fabric that shields the telescope's delicate instruments from the sun's heat and light, was deployed during one of the most significant tests. To guarantee that every layer was correctly tensioned and aligned, this deployment needed to be carried out precisely. Any misalignment or damage to the sun shield could make it difficult for the telescope to see far-off objects. Fortunately, it passed this test and advanced to the subsequent one. The telescope itself needed to be deployed next. To provide a sharp image, the 18 hexagonal segments that make up the JWST's primary mirror must be precisely aligned. This procedure comprised slowly deploying the primary mirror, extending the telescopic support structure, and unfolding the sun shield. The mirror needed to be precisely aligned for scientific observations after it was fully deployed. In this method, even the smallest error would be equivalent to throwing away more than $10 billion. To make sure all of the telescope's scientific instruments were operating properly, Another crucial calibration test entailed turning each one on individually. These equipment, which have different capacities for studying the cosmos, are the mid-infrared instrument, the near-infrared spectrograph, and the near-infrared camera. Lastly, the telescope needed to be accurately positioned in space to view its target objects in order to make sure the telescope's pointing and tracking systems were pointed at the right targets this procedure known as commissioning required monitoring calibration targets to make sure the JDWST was in good operating order and prepared to start its mission of exploring the universe all of these tests were essential the scientific community was growing increasingly excited as these intricate operations were carried out successfully 
The JWST was passing every test with flying colors, which was incredible. The JWST project involves almost 300 colleges, organizations, and businesses from 14 nations, as well as 29 U.S. states, making it a truly global endeavor. After passing every test that NASA could throw at it, the James Webb Space Telescope was officially cleared to start its amazing scientific mission in July of 2022. NASA said that the JWST was prepared to begin its exploration mission after all 17 of the observatory's scientific instrument modes had undergone thorough testing. The main function of the JWST, like any other telescope, is to gather light and focus it so that we can see distant objects. Nevertheless, the region of the electromagnetic spectrum that the JWST views in distinguishes it from other telescopes. The JWST sees in what is similar to the heat-producing infrared spectrum, whereas human eyes only detect visible light. Consider it the cosmos equivalent of a high-tech surveillance camera with night vision. Smaller and farther-off objects can be seen thanks to the JWST's ability to gather even more light than conventional telescopes due to its vast size. Furthermore, because it is in space, it is not affected by atmospheric interference, which can obscure important data, giving it the moniker Eyes on the Universe. The enormous 21-foot mirror on the JWST collects light and reflects it back to the spacecraft's instruments. It features four devices, each made to catch a distinct kind of light and offer a distinctive perspective on the cosmos. The primary camera, the near-infrared camera, is used to take breathtaking pictures of far-off galaxies, nebulae, and other celestial wonders. By dissecting light into its individual colors, the near-infrared spectrograph can provide additional details about the items it is studying. With the purpose of capturing infrared light, the mid-infrared instrument aims to investigate the early cosmos, exoplanets, and our own solar system. Lastly, the near-infrared, light-sensitive fine guidance sensor, near-infrared imager, and slitless spectrograph is used for precise pointing. Because infrared radiation has longer wavelengths than visible light and can disclose information that would otherwise remain concealed, NASA decided to use it with the JWST. The majority of infrared light that reaches Earth is blocked by our atmosphere and must be seen with a specialized telescope like the JWWST. Light from the furthest reaches of space shifts toward the red end of the spectrum as the universe expands. We may peek into the early universe and observe the development of stars and galaxies, as well as learn about the circumstances that prevailed at that time by viewing the universe in this red shifted light. Because the JWST can look so far into the cosmos, it can view back in time as well. Because light travels slowly, when the JWST observes a distant galaxy, it perceives the galaxy as it did billions of years ago, when the galaxy's initial light was released. This makes it possible for scientists to investigate the early cosmos and discover the mechanisms that gave rise to the modern universe. On July 12, 2022, during a live event, NASA unveiled the first science photographs from the JWST. Stunning views of the cosmos, such the cosmic cliffs in the Southern Ring Nebula and the Carina Nebula, were captured in these photos. A glimpse of Stefan's Quintet, a group of merging galaxies, and an examination of the hot gas giant exoplanet WASP-96b's atmosphere composition were also made possible by the JWST. Because of their beauty and scientific significance, these photos generated a great deal of excitement and enthusiasm. The examination of the atmosphere of WASP-96b provided insights into the mechanisms guiding the birth and evolution of exoplanets, while the JWWST's view of Stefan's quintet yielded fresh information about the interactions within the galaxy. 
The first JWST science quality image was unveiled on July 11, 2022, by NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, Vice President Kamala Harris, and President Joe Biden. Using just 12.5 hours of viewing time on one of the telescope's four instruments, this image represents the deepest infrared view of the universe to date. NASA declared in February 2022 that the JBWST had taken its first pictures of stars. The star, HD 84406, was represented by a mosaic of 18 dispersed, brilliant spots. Thomas Zerbikin, NASA's Associate Administrator for the Science Mission Directorate, stated on Twitter that these 18 dots will eventually merge into a single star when Webb aligns and focuses. This significant achievement illustrated the telescope's capacity and possibilities for future research. In the ensuing weeks, Webb's advancement persisted. NASA unveiled an enhanced and fresh photograph of HD 84406 on February 18th. The observatory purposefully arranged the 18 unfocused copies of the star into a hexagonal shape to provide a better representation of the final image after the various parts of the primary mirror were correctly aligned. Scientists were able to obtain a clearer, more detailed picture of the star as a result of superimposing 18 photos over one another. Using a specialized camera built inside the NIAR cam device for alignment and technical purposes, Webb also captured a unique selfie. Since just one mirror segment was successfully aligned and aimed at a star at that particular moment, the image revealed that section to be blazing brighter than the others. One by one, the remaining mirror segments were all correctly aligned, demonstrating the remarkable accuracy and precision of the telescope. Peering deeper into the Eagle Nebula, with its enormous columns of gas and dust reaching into space, was one of the telescope's greatest discoveries. Although it was able to capture the structure's magnificence, the Hubble Space Telescope was unable to reveal their secrets. The pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula are home to a hidden creation that has been revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope's infrared imagery. Webb's most recent snapshot revealed a large number of protostars as tiny red dots on the pillar's murky background. Stars are born in these vast agglomerations of gas and dust, each many times larger than our solar system. These young stars are not yet consuming hydrogen, according to Derek Ward-Thompson, Dean of the University of Central Lancashire in the United Kingdom's School of Natural Sciences. The centre gets denser over time as more material falls in, and finally hydrogen burning turns on, increasing the temperature to roughly 2 million degrees Celsius. The image itself is a miracle, representing mostly undetectable infrared wavelengths with a variety of colors. According to Anton Kokomore, a research astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, the image's visible portions appear blue, although they would appear red to the unaided eye. Important details concerning star formation, including that of our Sun, are shown by the photograph. Images like this one, according to Ward Thompson, not only demonstrate Webb's potential as an infrared telescope, but they also shed light on the early phases of star formation and how they change over time. The direct imaging of exoplanets was one of the unanswered mysteries. The first exoplanets were found orbiting distant stars in the early 1990s. The planets were identified by the planets passing in front of the star, which caused a minor dip in the star's light. With its sophisticated equipment like coronagraphs and extraordinary sensitivity, the James Webb Space Telescope may be able to take direct pictures of exoplanets. In less than a year after launch, Webb achieved a significant milestone when it captured the first direct picture of HIP 65426b, an exoplanet that was found in 2017 and is 100 times further away from its host star than Earth is from the Sun. 
scientists combined images of this massive gas giant using many filters and two of Webb's cameras. Astronomer Sasha Hinckley of the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom declared that this was a turning point for Webb and astronomy in general. Webb found it easier to photograph HIP 65426b because of its vast size and distance from its host star, which makes it around 12 times larger than Jupiter. In addition to producing stunning photographs, direct imaging of exoplanets contributes to our understanding of the universe's origins and the potential for extrasolar life. These pictures might reveal information about the composition of planets' atmospheres and how they form, which could help find exoplanets that are habitable. If a habitable exoplanet exists, Webb may be the first to discover one due to its close encounters with exoplanets. Even more remarkable than all of that was the next announcement. Webb's observation of the oldest galaxies known to humanity, which originated when the universe was only 2% of its present age, was declared a success by scientists. These four galaxies are approximately 13.4 billion light-years away, making them the most distant yet observed. As part of the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, Webb was able to identify these ancient galaxies by detecting even the smallest signals thanks to its infrared capabilities. The group measured the redshift of these galaxies using data gathered by Webb's near-infrared spectrograph in order to verify their age. These galaxies are confirmed to be the oldest ever observed with a redshift of 13.2, the highest ever measured. This finding could fundamentally alter our understanding of the universe by providing a window into its early stages. Researchers have recently become interested in one intriguing possibility. The telescope may be able to produce the clearest image of city lights in recorded history. Proxima b is a planet that is in Proxima Centauri's habitable zone. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star that is 4.25 light years away from Earth. In the unlikely event that Proxima b is home to a modern civilization, photovoltaic cells may be used to power lights on the night side. On Proxima b's night side, city lights might be visible to the James Webb Space Telescope if artificial light is restricted to a frequency range that is smaller than that of starlight. There will be even fainter artificial lights on Proxima b that future space telescopes like NASA's projected large ultraviolet optical infrared surveyor will be able to detect. The discovery of city lights on a planet more than four light years away serves as a reminder that much more has to be learned about the cosmos. We have come one step closer to comprehending our solar system and distant galaxies with the help of observatories like the JDWST. Now, do you believe that all of science's questions can be answered by the James Webb Telescope, or do we still need larger telescopes? Tell us in the comments section below. Please hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this video, and we'll see you in the next one.